Hi. So now we're going to talk about why Apache Kafka. So let's take a very simple example. At first, you have a source system and your target system. This could be your websites and your database. It's very simple at first. But then it gets very complicated because you have many source systems. You have your website, you have your email clients, and then you have many target systems. You have many databases, you have many different, different uh, data stores that you want to store your data to. And it becomes quite complicated because you have to integrate every source system data with every target system data. And each integration is tedious. They don't have their own protocols. It's not really safe and so on. So Apache Kafka comes in the middle. It helps you decouple your data streams. Basically, as an example, on the top, we have all sources, website events, pricing data, financial transactions, or user interactions. And they will all publish the data to Apache Kafka. And then your databases, your analytics, your email systems, your audits, they can just take the data from Kafka and do whatever they want with it. But the thing is, there is a middle layer, Apache Kafka, which allow you to decouple your data streams. For your website events, they only worry about pushing data to Apache Kafka, and that's it. And for your database, they can just source any data from any source just from Apache Kafka. So that's a very, very strong concept in here. So Apache Kafka on top of decoupling does a little bit more things. It is distributed with a resilient architecture and fault tolerance. That's because you have many servers. There's also something called horizontal scalability. Um, that words basically mean that you can add servers and your system will scale as you add servers. It's also really high performance. Um, some latency is observed to be less than 10 milliseconds. So it's pretty much real time. And it's used by many, many firms. It was first created by LinkedIn, then open sourced. And today it's used by the biggest firm. So Netflix, Airbnb, Yahoo, Walmart, and I can't name them all. So a few use cases for Apache Kafka. You could use it as a messaging system. You can use it as an activity tracking tool. You could use it to gather metrics from many different locations. You could gather application logs. You can also do stream processing using what we'll see is the Kafka Streams API or Spark, for example. As we saw before, it allows you to decouple your systems. And it has many different integrations. And I just named a few. There's Spark, Flink, Storm, Hadoop, and other big data, big data technologies. So Apache Kafka really solves big problems. And it's a really, really cool technology to know. It's up and coming nowadays. And many companies are already using it. So it's good that you learn that skill.